Well, hey! The cold is going, and my forehead's getting bigger. Look at that, it's massive. Anyway, anyway, no Botox though, look, you can see wrinkles. I can move my eyebrows and everything and smile. Um, right, biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. I, I've, it, it's funny, I, I speak to a lot of guys, right, about this sort of stuff, about health and fitness and not just that, like mindset stuff and all of that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And mindset comes in with, with, with getting fitter and stronger, right? Because it's not, I keep going on about how it's not that hard to do and I get that it is. But it's not, if you know what I mean. I was talking to somebody about this last night, I was talking to Rob about this last night actually, about how the process of it isn't sexy, but the results are sexy. So if you, you know, do a 20 minute session every every day, five days a week for a whole year, it's not that exciting. However, the results of what you will look like, three months in, five months, six months in, a year in, are great. The results of how you feel are great. It's little and often over the long haul, which is what um, Dan John says all the time. He would have got that from somewhere else, no doubt. Now, if it's gurgling, that's my washing machine making a noise. I've just got off a call with my my uh, a group I'm part of. I'm a I'm a member of, so it's run by my coach. And there was there was there was a guy in there who's who wants to lose weight. One of his goals. So we all set ninety day goals. And one of his 90 day goals is to lose weight. And as I've said, that doesn't, you, it doesn't really work because you've got to put in, in why. You've got, to, you've got to say, why do you want to lose weight? And I said this last week, I want to lose weight. Why do you want to lose weight? Because I don't like being fat. Well, why don't you like being fat? Well, because it doesn't feel good. Why doesn't it feel good? Well, because cause I get sweaty when it's like 10 degrees outside and I don't like to tuck my shirt in and my clothes don't fit properly and all of that. Why does that matter? Well... Hello, Russ. Well, it matters because it's because of the way, I, and then it, 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 you start going around in circles in your head of like it's the way I look, and it's the way, this, and then, and then it's the way I feel, and then actually when you think about it, it's all be, it, it becomes about like kind of relationships you have, possibly with yourself and then with others around you and how you treat them. So I hear about guys who say, right, I am going to lose weight, so I'm going to cut everything out. I'm going to stop eating bread, I'm going to stop eating biscuits, I'm going to stop eating chocolate. So you'll, you'll have people who are like, oh, I bloody love chocolate me. However, I know it's not good for you, so I'm going to give it up because I want to lose weight. So you're going to give up the thing that you like to get something that you don't necessarily particularly want or you don't know why you want it. That is going to be hard. That is going to be really hard. Okay? And also what you're going to end up doing and this is what happens with people I see all the time. And you see it on, on well, I see it all the time on Facebook and Instagram and all of this sort of stuff because of, the, because of the industry I'm now in. So all these people I follow and everything, you see all this, this stuff. And you end up um, with, like, saying, right, I'm going to cut out, I don't know, cut out carbs. So then, as a person, you'll start to demonise carbs, and say that, but that, it's all right because it'll help you lose weight. And it's like, yeah, but if you demonise them, then what will happen is if you do have a slice of bread or um, some pasta or some right, you're out for dinner and there's no nothing else. So you're like, oh, I'll have a pasta dish. Then you go, I've had carbs, no, and you start to go mad and you you beat yourself up about it and you feel bad, and then you're out and then that's it, you're done. You beat yourself up about it and then. And then, I know guys who've done this as well, and I've, I'll have done it myself, I haven't got any kids, but I'll have taken it out on other people, you demonise, you demonise carbs, say, then you go and have a pasta dish, then you start beating yourself up about it, then you start taking it out on other people because you get tired and cranky and, and all of that because you've failed. And it's, it's a nightmare, it's a nightmare. And... People don't really talk about this. People don't really talk about it. They just go and do it. It happens. It happens to most people. And then they just go, you know, you might be in the pub with your mates or something like that. And they go like, you know, oh, what, what happened about trying to lose weight and that? Oh, um, it didn't work. I'm, I've, I've, you know, I've decided that I'll, um, 
I'm, I'm fine the way it is and I'll, you know, it's all right. And I'll, I'm, I'm doing something about it, but I've just taken a step back from it at the minute because I'm busy at work or whatever. And you start to make all these kind of excuses as to why and then go back to where you were. And then, st- and then it all starts again because it's still in there that you're not happy with either how you look or feel or whatever, or you're not happy because you're a good, good role model to your kids because you're telling them to go out and play and all that and you don't do it yourself because adults don't play. Which is another thing. Play is good. As get out and do stuff, and it's like have fun, enjoy yourself, do have a little bit of a, you know, move around and all of that sort of stuff. Play a little bit of footy and all that, and it it, it gives you well being. It, it gives you peace of mind. It makes you feel better. It gives you more time with your kids as well. So, you know, these are the these are the sorts of things that people very rarely talk about, or people certainly don't openly talk about in the fitness industry. They'll wait for people to come in. And then they'll be like, right, I've got all this uh, clever stuff I'm going to show you. And it's like, it's not, it's just, it's just very simple. And it's stuff that I talk about on these. So instead of demonizing food, all you need to do, the fact is, the fact, it's very simple. If you're overweight and you want to lose body fat, you need to eat less. It's pretty much as simple as that. And it's not eat less carbs, it's not eat less fat, it's not eat less um uh, protein or whatever it's not it's it's not it's just eat less just have smaller portion sizes it's 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 pretty much as simple as that stop eating cakes after after every meal you know there's there's houses there's, there's houses um that are uh, yeah there's people there's people's places i've been to where the kids are like what's for dessert it's like what I have dessert with every meal. And it's like, well, if that, if you're getting used to that, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be having three course meals every meal. That's, that's a lot of food in one day, you know. So these are the, these are the things that you already know, but you, you try and find another way around. You try and find a different way around when it's actually, it's just nature. It's the way it goes. You eat too much, you get fat. You want to lose body fat, you eat less. It's, it's pretty much as simple as that. Obviously, if you know, exercising that does help, but it's not the be all end all. But the problem is as well that nutrition isn't the most interesting subject in the world if you're not interested in it. If you, you know, if you say, well, if you if you if you if you say you like your food, then nutrition isn't the biggest thing on your mind because you want you, you know you want to eat. You don't want to. You don't want to worry about what, like, you know, how many calories is in what you eat. You want to enjoy what you eat. But you can do both. You can do both. Okay. And it helps. It helps you get. There's, a, there's one of the guys who comes to me um, said that. He said he started tracking his food, you know, um, using the nutrition system and all that. And it just, all it did was help him with portion sizes. And then he was okay after that. He was okay after that. It just keeps him in check every now and then because he says it's boring tracking it. Even though, even though with my nutrition system, you don't have to track it. You just, you do meal plans and then spit them out and go and buy buy the stuff from from the supermarket it gives you a shot on this but he, he didn't like doing that either but he did it for a week and then he was like right i know roughly what portion sizes look like and it's it started to work for him so yeah so anyway i have a nutrition system which takes all of this into account anyway which means you don't have to count calories you don't have to worry about portion sizes because the portion sizes are in there there's there's thousands of meals in there with recipes and all of that sort of stuff and you can you can plan your week out so all it is is it's a number that corresponds to each day and you eat the meals you know you pick you pick and choose which meals you want out of all of the recipes so there's loads and loads of variety in there and then you eat them to that number each meal has a number assigned to it and then you add it up to your daily number and it's as simple as that Dead, dead simple. And it's all basic stuff made from scratch. That doesn't take very long. And then what you can also do, little tip for you, is the number that you've got for for every day, if you eat one or two less on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, say, and Thursday, you can then eat more at the weekend. So if you save two, two points, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's eight extra points you can eat over the weekend. Or if you save them all up, to Friday, that's ten extra points over two days, so it's five. So then you can go and eat loads on Saturday and Sunday, as long as you as long as you stick to the the point system. At the end of the week, you add up to the right number of points. You're done, and it doesn't matter. 
And then you don't have to feel guilty about it. And then you also don't have to, you know, if your mates are going out or you're, you're going out with uh, with your wife and kids to some pizza restaurant or whatever, you don't have to sit and go, oh, God, I'm going to have to have a salad or whatever. You don't. You can just you can save them up across the week and then, and then eat, you know, and then eat what you like in the pizza restaurant. Then it doesn't make your kids feel bad because they're going to be eating loads and you're kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm on a diet and, and then you won't have fun. So... It's all there. It's all there available. Or you can try and do it yourself. But anyway, you can have a look at what that's all about in the link below. If you click the link below, put your email address in, there's a free program in there for you. And that tells you all about how, how this all works. There's also an exercise program in there, thing about how to get some decent sleep. Um, basically, yeah, there's, it, 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 there's everything in there. Seven steps in there to help you get fitter, stronger, and healthier without having to without without having to go to a gym like three hours a day because that's boring. So, if you want to know, click it, download it, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.